has me trying to understand what today's youngsters are doing to get fit, to stay fit, to look good, to stay healthy. Well, we're now joined by Bindya, a fitness expert and someone who's described fitness as a part of her lifestyle. Now, Bindya, tell me one thing. When you sort of, you, you own this gym where we are today, uh, what is it like? Do you sort of see a lot more youngsters in recent years now wanting to get into the gym? Because, you know, all around us, whether you look at the movies or ads, everyone's sort of, you know, being hit by that perfect body and everyone wants that perfect body. So are there a lot more youngsters in, in recent years? What's it been like? Yeah, a lot of youngsters uh, are coming because they have their targeted bodies, you know, but they need to understand it takes time because they come to the gym and they, you know, they ask, can we have a body, this kind of a body like a Shah Rukh Khan six pack or, you know, so they're like, okay, one month, two months target, they want it. But everything, you know, it has its own course and it takes time and, you know, slow and steady if you go because this frenetic diets and workouts really take a toll on your body. No, but there's, there's, there's also so much in the market that one keeps reading, you know, this supplement and that and, you know, how much is too much, how much do you push your body to a certain point. So does there come a point in your experience where you have to, you have to tell people that, okay, just step back. You, you should know, always beyond. listen to your body actually. Once your body tells you, you know, you're the best judge. If I'm working out like excessively and my body tells you to stop, mm. you know, tells me to stop, I should stop it there and then. And supplementation, I think, I believe in natural diets. I'll tell you one thing, you know, uh, there is a generation, say, before ours, where, you know, they would say, Ki, Sair pe chale jao in the morning, go for a walk, and then, you know, you will be healthy. And, you know, you have elders in your family who perhaps sort of raise their eyebrows and say, where do you people go? Where do you people work out? What do you think is the main reason why a youngster today goes to the gym? You know, is it to sort of stay healthy or do you think it is again sort of more aspirational and more, you know, that perfect body? You know, it's uh, both. Hmm. And first of all, to be very honest, our youth is not as, um, you know, active as the right. older generation is. Right. They would like to get up late. Honestly speaking, they don't want to work outside in heat. And because the summers are here, they want ACs to be on. They are really brats, to be very honest. Yeah. <laughs> so even, you know, the, even if the gym is really chilled, they still need more ACs. This says, you know, like it shows how much they want their, they're in their comfort zone. Because if they go out in the park, they're going to really sweat. Right. And I feel that, you know, natural, I would prefer someone going out as well. Mm. But I think the youth right now is like only focusing on their comfort. Right. And yeah. this is of course, of course a certain lot of youngsters who can afford it and you know, all those who perhaps would be okay to go out there and, and, and they would be. But again coming back to the urban youth, do you think that India is giving enough importance to fitness, to you know, to looking after yourself? Do you think we as a society give it enough importance that it deserves? Society uh, might not be but these Bollywood stars yeah. are definitely helping us because you know, there becomes a target because right now, you know, the youth is just like parrots. Whatever you say, whatever you do, they just copy you. What is the most challenging thing about owning a place like this? It's very challenging yeah. because, yeah, initially, like if you open up a place, it's difficult because this place is quite like in, inside the colony. You know, in localities, it's very difficult to do the marketing well. But it's just word of mouth. I am very confident about my trainers. I, we are, I have best of trainers and my trainings are like really good. What led you to decide? I, I know that you said that fitness is a, is a way of life, but what made you open your gym? I mean, how do you get, how do you go down this road? How did you get started on this road? We, uh, my husband was into gymming a lot earlier. Now he's moved on to a different direction. But since I was an athlete and I was so much focused about working out and since I, when I did the course, I wanted to have my own place, you know, where I can just tell people I want a gym, you know, and I can wear, I can go anytime. I don't need to pay up and get enrolled and, you know, anytime I can go and do my own thing. So that really gave me the motivation, especially after my first daughter. And then that, that's how you got started. And then, of course, the rest, as they say, is, is, is history. I was also, began. by the way, fascinated by those six-pack bodies. <laughs> right, you were. <laughs> and now do you sort of feel that, is there any point in, you know, sort of aspiring to those six-pack bodies? Is it even worth the effort? Or where do you stand on six-packs? See, if, honestly, if you ask me, it looks good. It looks really good. If you have a six-pack body and, you know, people really appreciate you, it, it's a matter of, of your appearance, yeah. you know. But really, you need to work hard on your inner strength also. For all those who are watching and sort of, you know, want to make a career out of fitness, what would you say to them? What are the options before them? 
well, if you can own a gym, nothing like it because you're the boss. And secondly, you can go for, uh, people can go for good crash courses, you know, and they can become fitness trainers and fitness experts. They can do nutrition. There are so many things the youth can follow. And uh, A, they can be fit all their life. And second, there's so much to learn in fitness. You know, even I'm learning a lot still, you know, in spite of opening a gym, I want to explore different workouts. I want to reach out to people with new things. So there are a lot of ideas if, you know, people can really want to, if people want to start something like this in fitness. Right, so you've heard all that it takes uh, to have a career in fitness, all the many options out there. Kriti now tries to get us into the mind of those who work out, work out with a passion to see why they do it and of course very importantly how they do it. Kriti, it's over to you. Thanks Natasha. I'm going to try to get some motivation from some people who regularly work out. They're able to plan their entire life and take out dedicated time to coming to the gym, staying fit, staying healthy and of course staying happy. With me are two such people. I am going to talk to you while you're working out. Can you tell me what is it that motivates you? What is it that gets you here every day? How often do you work out? I work out six days a week and uh, since last six months I've been practicing it like religiously just because I've seen the transformation. I was 80 kgs when I joined. Mm -hmm. Now I'm 62, so 18 kgs is a lot. Yeah. So which made me motivated and just to transform my life wholly because I have seen through what I have gone through. I used to have cervical pains and everything. Now I don't have anything. Gaurav is someone who also regularly comes to the gym. Gaurav, what is it that you do for a living? And how I, do you take out time? I'm an event designer. Mm -hmm. uh, four to six is only for the gym. <laughs> I don't take meetings around that time. Uh, it's either before two o'clock I take a meeting or post six thirty. Clients will have to wait for my exercise regime. <laughs> so do you feel that when you come to the gym, do you see a lot more people who are able to take this time out of this thing? People, students might be studying or working. Do you think that there's a lot of good emphasis that they're able to take time out or not really? There are some people who take time out from their work and they do come to the gym for their fitness. But obviously it depends on people that how do they want to take it up. There are many people who take it quite casually and there are many people who take it proper. See, I'm asking because I take it very casually and I'm very bad. I'm, I cannot get out of bed in the morning. So that's what I'm trying to get from you, some sort you of should. discipline. You How do should. I do this? You don't, you don't know what you're missing in life. Working out gives you a high. I have more energy after working out than what I had four years back. Believe you me. Yeah? Absolutely. Is that the same, same case with you? And the way you feel once you're done with your workout, it's amazing. That's the best feeling in the world once you're done. That's how I'm motivated. I'm hoping that they're going to change my life and that I get some motivation to go out there, stay dedicated and hit the gym. If you're someone who already hits the gym and wants to know and is in a dilemma between a buff body and a lean body, we have something for you right after the break.